Got a lot. Um, anyway, the game looks pretty fun, right? The game looks good, I guess. Gra today, graphics have gotten so good that I guess it's hard to be impressed by it. But I mean, the, the game looks fine. I don't think anything looked bad. The character, the models are all cool. The, there's not, like, any horribly, like, nasty-looking textures or anything really dumb. The backgrounds all look nice. You can see the mountains and shit. And as, in, as far as open world goes, I guess everything looks fine. The rendering distances are whatever. You don't see, like... I didn't see, like, buildings, like, popping in and out of existence or whatever. A problem that you ran into a lot with, um... Uh, was it Grand Theft Auto 4 or Grand Theft Auto 5 that came out on the PC? People complain about render distances and shit. Um, so, I mean, graphically, the game is fine. So, the, the biggest problem that I had with this game, I guess, um, I mean, there's a lot of, like, really great ideas with this game, I think. There's a lot of great ideas, but the execution fell really far short of, like, what would have made them actually good. It might be that I play games, I, I, this sounds like a joke, I guess, people watch my stream and whatever, I, I play games at a higher level than most people, I guess, like, I'm willing to put a lot of hours into it, and maybe more so, I mean, obviously, you see me learning a game on stream, you might think I suck, but... Maybe the average person who doesn't play very many games might have, you know, a lot more trouble with this than I did. But after spending maybe like two or three hours with the combat system, the combat system, it, it feels very much like a giant quick time event. Um, pretty much, pretty much combat in this game. Like, so this is a three on one, okay? This is the entire combat, okay? Basically, you just left click and right click, right? Oh, I had to, I had to right click twice there, right? And then you just left click. My other hand's not on the keyboard right now. Oh shit. I'm actually farther in the game, so I have to do um space board or uh, space bar too, but more or less for like the first entire half of the game, this is the combat. It's very good at being like simple and making it look like you're doing like a lot of stuff, but in reality, it's it's very, very, very simple, right? Um You have to hold shift to execute people while they're on the ground, so I guess I can't do that, but and I didn't right click there. But right, so Right off the bat, I guess, something that looks like a really, um, a really interesting and dynamic, uh, combat system. In reality, this is a giant quick time event. Push F to kill, and then there's that. I really, um, some people say, I never played Arkham Asylum or, um, Assassin's Creed, and a lot of people say that there's a lot of similarities between the combat system in this game and that game. That might be true, I don't, I don't actually know, I never played those games. Um, again, I think one of these guys you actually have to space bar to dodge, but... We just, basically you're just mashing, and again, I only have one finger, or I'm only using the mouse right now. But it looks like I'm doing like a lot of shit, right? I think it does. But in reality, I'm literally just mashing the left click button. And then, and then I have to push the right click one to block. Sometimes though, sometimes you can get away with just having left click, right? I get, technically I should be dodging the arrows too, but it doesn't really matter, right? So, I, I guess... This, this could be a good thing or a bad thing, it just kind of depends. Um, it's really good at making a bad player look like they're very, very active on the screen by having the game pretty much play itself for you. As long as you're, um, as long as you're left clicking enough, <laughs> I guess it kind of works. Um, the, uh, the, this, this game, I think the combat system really killed this game. Um, a lot of the, uh... There's, there's just, the combat system is just completely and totally lackluster. After the first, like, the slow-mo executes are actually really cool. Like, it's like a guilty pleasure. If you remember playing Fallout 3, even though that's combat, in my opinion, was really lame, you, it really never got old watching, like, a dude's head get shot off with, like, your gun or whatever. That, it always looked cool. And for this game, in terms of, like, graphically appealing, like, the executions and shit, they do look cool, and, you're, and you do feel like a badass with your guy. But it would have been nice to see, like, some degree of, like, skill ceiling, I guess. Or or, or or some degree of, like, you can do stuff that's, like, requires, like, a little bit more thought than literally just mashing left click, which is what I'm doing right now. I pushed shift left click there, I cheated a little bit. So, the combat in this game was very disappointing to me. Um, and, and to compound the disappointment, you, you add into that the fact that there's zero, there's, you've got like three types of enemies in this game. Maybe four types, you've got, so these are the standard orcs. You just chop them up. Sometimes you have to right click to block their attacks. You've got like archer dudes and they like throw arrows at you. Or, or like there's people that like throw spears or whatever. And for them, you just, I guess you would just push space bar and you dodge them. Like there's an archer dude. As long as you push space bar, you just dodge all of his shit, right? Space bar. It's kind of like um, Dark Souls, except not hard. <laughs> you just, Space bar. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even jump that time. I just ran over him. But um, regardless, 
you got like berserkers that you have to like jump over like this, and then when you jump over them, you go back to mashing left click. And then you've got um, so you've got defenders with shields, and then you just like jump over them. The, the combat is like it's super repetitive. It's really disappointing. There's like um, I think there's like the makings of like an okay combat system here, maybe. But the um, the skill the skill ceiling is just far 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 too low. Like it's easy to master this very quickly. Um, even if you let the enemies kill you, I don't know if it'll do it on these guys. But if you let the enemies kill you, you even have an option to like get out of it. As you can see right here, you put it in, right click, and then I'm not even dead. And now I'm recovering health again. Can I do it again? Let's see. Recover a little bit of health. Knock down again. I don't know if this goes on forever. Left click again, like, I don't know, I think this is like... I mean, I, I play some games semi-professionally, well really only StarCraft 2, so maybe like my expectations are a little bit higher, but I think the combat system in this game is a huge disappointment. Um, w w which, w when you're, when 99% of your game is like combat, I don't think... <laughs> I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's good that the combat system can be this boring. And there are so many things that compound the board, and we talked about lack of enemy variety earlier. Um, something that you can talk about more um, that, that kind of bridges us into another topic. You have this really kind of neat idea here with like the nemesis system where like if a monster kills you, he gets stronger and there's like all this this hierarchy of like dudes and shit, like different people in Sauron's army. Um, they even have like weaknesses and strengths built into the enemies and there's a way that you can um, gather intel to like, you know, find their weaknesses and shit. But ultimately, it's all like completely irrelevant because you can just spam left click on every single captain and kill him. Even on the war chiefs, like, if, I mean, my entire playthrough is available on my Twitch, I guess, if you want to watch it there. I, don't, I, don't, I probably won't even upload it to YouTube. But, um, the, the, like, the first four War Chiefs I found, like, I, I managed to clear, like, over half of this game without ever dying a single time, which is a little bit disappointing. The only time I actually started to die was when, um, I, I like, forwarded time, like, 20 times to try to get the dudes to be stronger, um, and die a few times there being a little bit careless, but nothing was exceptionally challenging in the game, which I guess kind of comes along with the territory of not being able to set a difficulty setting, because the game has to be easy enough for, you know, like, the 11-year-old memester to be able to play through and beat. But, um... I, I don't know. A lot of people have said good things about the combat in this game. I really disagree. But maybe... Maybe I'm just too old or out of touch. Um, to, to, to put into perspective, there was another game that I remember a long time ago that had a very quick moving combat system. We actually had to do stuff and it wasn't quick time events, like it can work. Did anybody, did anybody play the old Zone of the Enders games? Those games had a very quick combat system where you were moving around the screen a lot. Uh, your, your mecha could like perpetually fly, so you were, you were constantly zipping and zooming around the screen, but it wasn't quick, none of it was quick time events. And there wasn't like slow motion on every other slash to give you time to catch up. Um, yeah, I, I, so... Right off the bat, like, for the first, like, 30 minutes, maybe, the combat system is kind of interesting, but after that, it becomes very, very, very repetitive. To jump into large groups of enemies, like, is, is pretty annoying. As I make my way to this, uh, nemesis, we'll talk about something else, too. Um, there, there's a lot of parallels you can draw between this and Call of Duty, but one of the biggest problems I have with this game, and apparently this movement system is very similar to, uh, Assassin's Creed and I think Arkham Asylum 2, I hate... I hate movement systems like this that make it super easy to traverse the entire world with no penalty. I think it makes you take the entire world for granted, right? Um, you've got these artists that work on all this scenery and all these levels and all this stuff, right? Level design is an art, you know? Like, it, there's a lot that goes into designing a good level. I think all of it becomes irrelevant when you can literally hold down spacebar and run through everything. I don't- I hate this. Like, look, maybe there's like- Maybe in order to get up here, there could be like a ladder that's defended by like two enemies around the corner that you would have to use an ability or, or you know, sneak to in order to get up, but, but there's not. None of the terrain in this game has any sort of strategic or tactical bearing whatsoever, because you can literally hold down space and run over everything. Is this a mountain? Oh, I can't actually go up this one. I picked, like, one of the only two things in the game you can't. But like, like, uh, oh man, like, I wonder how I would get to the top there. Maybe there's like, maybe there are some stairs that are like hidden, maybe there's like a ladder that I've got to drop down, maybe there's some weird shit in order to get on the top of this, but not really. Nope, I just hold spacebar. And I climb over everything. Oh, and here's a dude. Also, the AI in this game is pretty bad. I literally climbed up that whole building and jumped. A lot of people were talking about how good the AI is, I don't know what game they were playing. AI in this game. I guess this guy can't see me? because It's because I'm holding shift. See, hold on. This is walking, this is sneaking. 
So now we're sneaking. Oh, whoa, I walked into a dude. Okay, so here are some of the captains. I was actually planning to get this guy a little bit later, but... So here are the captains, right? This, this fight should be significantly more challenging, right? But in reality, I'm literally just spamming. Now I'm doing F because I built up enough for my executions. And then I'm just going to go ahead and spam some left clicks. Let's... Oh, we got shield dudes. We got to jump over them. Then I'm going to go ahead and... uh, It's going to go spam some left clicks there. Oh, there we go. Going to push F because that's my execute. Oh, there we go. So I don't know what this guy's weaknesses were. I don't know what his strengths were. I really don't give a fuck because... You can kind of just, like, do this. Some people watching this might say, Well, hey, your characters, you know, you beat the game. You're max leveled. I mean, I guess that's true. So I have, like, my executes come a little bit quicker. But there's not a significant difference between killing these captains now and killing them earlier. A lot of people that watched me play, um... A lot of people that watched me play through the game at the very beginning, you know, were, were kept encouraging me, Steven, speed up time, speed time up. Or destiny, I should say, I guess. So that's... I don't want you to know my personal name. I don't want you to get the wrong idea here. Um, you know, people are saying, like, Oh, well, just... Just speed up time to make it more difficult, like, it's not fair. Look, even, I hate this too, bullet time, like, when you slow the game down. I don't know if I can hit him, but as long as the game slows down... Uh... Oh, okay, now I got him. Like, I mean, like I said, I understand it's gotta be, like, lowest denominator. A person has to be able to play the game in order to win, but... Man. <clears throat> um, so, I guess... Far Cry 3 suffered from this too, a whole bunch of meaningless abilities. Some of these abilities you need for the story mode, but they get unlocked automatically. You could probably beat this whole game relatively easily by only grabbing like two or three abilities. Like the execute ability is nice. Um, the impact ability, knocking people over when you count them is nice. Strike them above is nice. But I mean like you don't really need any of these other ones to do it. Um, attributes basically just give you more HP. There's like, there's no real stats in this game. And then there are ruins that you can put on your weapons. I guess, but they're like so lame. This could have been really cool too. Like give me ruins that can like turn my sword on fire or give me like some crazy ass awesome shit. Pretty much all of the like you can see the ruins I picked for my sword. I'm really boring, okay? I'm sure that if I would have like grinded for epics, maybe I could have found more interesting things, but like basically they just give you more percent damage or let you recover like focus more, which is what gives you bullet time so you can pretend you're Neo and you know run around and shoot people. But I mean, the, the ruin system in this game is a complete waste of time, in my opinion. You don't need any ruins to beat the game. They don't make a significant impact on gameplay at all. What's this guy running from? I don't know, but we're gonna kill him. So, I mean... Oh, here's this dude. But I can just push Z to climb it, because there's an ability that makes me do that. So there's no difficulty in getting rid of this guy. But I don't actually want to jump on this guy. So, I mean, the ruin system is really disappointing. Um, we were gonna go to the captain. Although, I guess I already killed the captain, but we can go... We can go find this. I thought the nemesis system in this game... It was a decent idea, but it's not its not that impressive. I don't understand. People, um... A lot of reviewers... Because I was reading reviews of this game before I play it, you know, because the ones that, you know, give the special blowies before the game comes out get the game early so that they can give it, you know, 9 out of 10 reviews so that they can always get early games. A lot of people were talking about how the AI system in this game was really cool. So, there's a couple different things they could be talking about. If they're talking about enemy AI, that's just completely fucking wrong. I'm sneaking around this guy. He doesn't see me, doesn't hear me. If he turns red, it means I can kill him in one shot. Is he starting to see me? Nope. I can walk in front of him. Oh, he saw me there. But now I hide in the bush. And now he doesn't know where I am anymore. Oh, now he saw me. So now I can click the button and kill him in one shot. So the enemy AI isn't really that impressive, in my opinion. I can start killing, like, you can take on entire camps of people without them having any fucking idea what's going on. Oh wow, this is a guy I have to jump over. So this is a more difficult guy. What do we do? Press space bar, and then push all the buttons. Oh wait, this is a really difficult guy. I think these are called berserkers. All the enemies in this game kind of ran together for me, so I don't really <laughs> remember their names. I'm gonna just back up. Wow. Oh, there's another berserker, dude. I'm being really lazy right now. None of the enemies, uh, this is like, one of the things too that's kind of disappointing is you can encounter, this is a relatively small group of enemies, right? We have, um, this is like, um, four or five enemies right here. You can like, you can take on like groups of like 400 enemies and they'll like, they always like wait in line to attack you. It's literally like a movie where people will only go like one at a time. So that means, like, you can literally fight infinite numbers of enemies, and as long as you press, like, right-click or left-click or spacebar when the game tells you to, you'll never be, like, in danger of dying. 
Unless there's like rangers around, I guess, then you have to push spacebar to dodge the arrows, but... Oh, I guess there are knives in this game too. I never... I never use these, but I'm sure they're really good. Uh, what were we talking about? The nemesis system? Oh, a lot of people were really happy to find captains that like you randomly encounter, which you saw me do earlier, I guess. So I guess that's kind of cool, but it's not really that impressive. I mean, like, we have games that have been out for like over a decade that literally procedurally generate like entire terrains. I don't know why we're too impressed these days that captains would randomly appear around the map. It's not a very difficult thing to do. Um, I remember Fallout 3 did that a ton with, you know, different spots on the map where like quests could appear. Remember the UFO crashes or like finding like a group of like thieves or whatever. So I mean, I don't think this game treads any new ground there. To be honest, I don't think this game treads new ground anywhere. Um, the enemy diversity is lackluster, the nemesis system and the captains was a decent idea, but ultimately the execution is horrible, in my opinion. The story was pretty... I don't want to rag on the story because I'm happy that they gave you like an actual story instead of making it all open-ended. But like, the story starts off, I guess, spoiler alert, where you're like, you, you almost die, but then you're not dead. Oh look, we found a random captain. How, um, how random. I guess the story starts off with you kind of wanting to die to get to be with your family that also died but then by the time the story ends you really don't care about your family at all anymore you just want to like oh this guy's involved with a range i guess you just want to like um you just want to like make another ring of power i don't i don't even know i'm not i'm not entirely sure why this game ended where it did uh oh there's two guys down here the ultimate abilities in this game are very disappointing. When you build up a big enough hit street, you can push F for these executions. The ultimate ability is you push 2. And then um, once you push 2, you can spam F until that little bar in the lower left runs out. So I'm just going to be spamming F now to kill these captains. But once again, you know, like, the nemesis system. I still have no idea. I haven't looked up, like, the weaknesses of this guy at all. I don't really know. And I don't really care. I didn't look up weaknesses for anyone. It didn't... If I, if I hit a weak point, like, was ranged or whatever, I mean, I guess that'd be nice, but ultimately it was all irrelevant. You could just spam your buttons and do whatever. Again, this game, I guess, is made for, like, lowest denominator of gamer. Maybe for that 52% of gamers that are supposedly... Oh, actually, we almost wanted to really sex this path there, but I didn't. But, um... Not that girls are inherently worse at games, but, like, for people that are, like, super casual, they only play, like, mobile games or whatever, like, maybe... Maybe it's made for, like, those people. None of these guys over here. Look, I just killed these dudes. None of these guys are any of the wiser. Look, no one here is seeing me. No one noticed. I just wrecked those two dudes right there. This guy cannot even see me. He's barely noticing me. That's that yellow bar filling up. Oh, this guy is kind of sort of noticing me, but not really. The stealth system in this game is really disappointing. If you're going to have an open world game. I mean, AI really hasn't caught up to the point to make open world work in terms of, like, in invading enemy positions because the AI is just not dynamic enough to like watch so many areas without it being dumb. You should at least give these guys like greater sensitivity or like the ability to see farther. I don't know, this is pretty silly. Did this guy just explode? I don't even know. Well, I guess you can see like, oh, this guy noticed me at least. Oh, no, wait, he lost me because I went into the bush. Okay, now they notice me. This is really disappointing. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I thought the game was like, the, the story mode was fun. Side quests in this game are absolutely terrible. Um, I was really surprised this game wasn't made by Ubisoft because this, the side quests in this game reminded me of Far Cry 3 a lot. You pretty much have like three different types of side quests. You you either, um, you, you, you have these things, these fist things, where you like, you have to save slaves. You run up to the pole and you push control. And then you have, um, like weapon challenge missions where you just use your weapons to kill people with it whether it's the bow the dagger or the sword and then you have um those are really the only side missions i think then you've got like the power struggles where you go to the captains fighting each other and then you kill them this is kind of a joke this is a stronghold right now right i can literally run through this whole place and never get shot uh, in fact i can run back and forth through here for the rest of the review and I'll never get shot or killed or take damage. It's pretty silly. This is not very strong. This is not a very strong hold. I guess this is where a lot of the reviewers were saying we're supposed to connect with this nemesis or whatever, but again, these guys, you kill these guys pretty much just like tougher orcs. Like, it's not, there's nothing very dynamic. They don't have any, like, 
spells or anything cool, like any AoE attacks that would have made him like badass or like special weapons with huge range or abilities or magic or anything. It's just, they're literally just stronger orcs. Like if they've got a bow, they'll shoot just like normal. If they've got a spear, they fight like normal. With a sword, they fight like normal. As you can see here, as long as I'm jumping over people, I'll never get shot or hurt by any of these people. I just have to keep mashing spacebar. This is pretty, um, this is pretty dumb. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is the entire game. I don't know. Um, I mean, yeah, the game, the game was, like, fun to play, like, in kind of, like, a guilty pleasure sort of way, but I don't think this game was anything special at all. Like, I'm not gonna remember this game growing up, or, like, when my kid gets, you know, like, four or five years older, I'm not gonna dig this out and be like, Nathan, like, this is a game, when I was a child, you have to play this game, because it's gonna shape your destiny or your future or something. I wish I, in the beginning of the game you can actually fight entire groups like this by just like following the clicks. Um, but I think there are some guys you have to do space bars with. You can literally see like I'll only ever get attacked by like a few guys at once and it slow it slow mows the game so that I can like block shit. I guess because it would be too hard otherwise. Oh, that's a shield, dude. We have to jump over him. Anyway, yeah. So I don't know. There, there wasn't really anything. I guess, like, in the end, like, for me personally, I would probably give this game, like, a, a 5 or 6 out of 10. It looks nice. The music always... It always sounds like a horror movie. I don't know why they went that way with the music, but... Your bones, the dust will claim you. This John, yeah, I don't know. That's it, that's all I got. I'm gonna say that the Destiny review would be like five or six out of ten for this game, I would say. But it, but I guess for everyone else, it's like nine out of ten. I'm not sure what the major hype or the major draw is. I was pretty disappointed after how much um, everybody raved about this game after actually beating it.